हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ द ट्वेल्थ वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इनसाइड द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन मशीन लर्निंग सो इन दिस लेक्चर वील सी अबाउट हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर द डेटा टू फिट द डेटा इन साइड द डिफरेंट मशीन लर्निंग अलगोरिथम सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द डेटा लेट्स सी सम ऑफ द प्री रिक्विजिट एंड द रिकेप वॉट वी हैव डन टिल नाउ फॉर द डेटा प्रिपरेशन और द डिफरेंट प्रोग्रामिंग प्री रिक्विजिट रिक्वायर फॉर द मशीन लर्निंग प्रोग्रामिंग सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन अबाउट द नम पाई द पाइथन न्यूमेरिकल manipulation related uh, library so, uh, we have seen about the data set imported we have imported couple of uh, data set like handwriting character recognition diabetes or boston house pre price prediction data set with the help of scikit learn uh, library and after that i uh, ha i told you about the prerequisite of the pandas that is a data science or data analysis related library inside this python and matplotlib that is for the visualization purpose so for both of this library uh, i have prepared the different uh, video series you can go through that video series uh, that is the much more basic uh, require uh, to get started and uh, to get those function used to inside this machine learning so uh, to the link for this video uh, series i have given inside the description you can see about it so these are all the prerequisite now let's see we have all uh, imported this data what we can do further so let's prepare for the data we have just imported this data but now the next these are the three tasks we need to perform uh, based on our uh, requirement what kind of problem we want to solve first we need to select the data and then we need to some kind of pre process data then we need to transform the data so these are the three essential uh, steps are required before you fit the data inside this machine learning algorithm so why these steps are uh, require required so let's see one by one let's first select the data so while selecting data you need to select the subset of data why just uh, subset of data because the more data no doubt more data is always better to get better accuracy of the machine learning algorithm but if you select the uh, subset of uh, an, an data for the prototype prototype purpose it is always better to take subset of data which is required based on your uh, problem you want to solve so it requires a less amount of time also less amount of memory also so better select subset of data no doubt more data is always better so there is a trade off between these two things while you just starting to coding inside the machine learning now there is a data source so sometimes the data is available on the internet sometimes it is available uh, onto sql or uh, sometimes it is available inside this uh, uh, file system of our windows um, machine so it may be available inside the different form so it may happen that uh, apart from this data you may require some more data which has not been uh, recorded and which is not available inside the data source but the problem you want to solve you require those kind of data also you need to record those also uh, there is a one more part is you need to exclude some of the uh, data so we will see about that uh, why this exclusion also require that will be nothing but you are selecting the essential data which you actually require for the further processing let's see uh, once we have the selected data the subset of selected data what kind of pre processing uh, we require for the uh, this data so first is a formatting so it may happen that uh, uh, the data available inside the different uh, on the different source will be in a very much uh, different format so source format is always different and the required format uh, might be different might be uh, same so whatever the data you have gathered you need to transform into required format which you can feed inside the different machine learning algorithm let's say your data is available on to the internet uh, of any web page but that web page you can't uh, transform into 
directly to machine learning algorithm so you have to do some con kind of feature engineering stuff so that feature engineering stuff will convert your uh, data of whatever the web page available inside it to the feature uh, vector sometimes the data will be available inside uh, sql database or a mongodb uh, kind of no sql database then you need to convert uh, with the help of feature engineering to the required format uh, which you can feed it into different ml algorithm so this way the formatting is a must now there is a data uh, cleaning stuff is required why data cleaning uh, stuff is that uh, while analyzing all those different uh, records you may found that there are some of the records might be missing or even if the some of the records uh, uh, record all records are available some of the features are missing so that's why you need to clean those data you need to remove those data it may happen sometime uh, that there are all uh, features are available all records are also available but some of the features or particular uh, record will be in a d some form and some of the records of uh, other uh, some of the features of other record will be in a some other form like uh, some of them might be in a string some of them might be in an integer so you need to club it in into put it into very much same format so you can feed it into uh, further processing now there is a data sampling stuff so data sampling is nothing but you need to take a very small subset of uh, uh, data rather than taking uh, ever each and every data which is av available uh, why that is important because while prototyping or while initially applying the uh, dif uh, different uh, ml algo algorithm if you take a small subset of data you require a very less amount of time to get it processed less amount of power consumption of your uh, machine also less amount of memory uh, requirement also so you can easily prototype it once you are confident about that if it is working fine you can go for the very large data set and uh, all full uh, uh, data set which is available inside the to total database set now the last part is the transform data so transform data means what uh, you have selected data you have cleaned up all data you have put the data into required format so now there is a scaling part is available uh, scaling first of all in a transformation stage so it may happen that some of the features are available inside the centimeter sometimes so some and some of the features are available inside the meter format so it is it doesn't make sense so you have to convert it into the proper format uh, either both should be in a meter or by either both should be in a uh, centimeter so this way the scaling will perform so suppose some features are available in a range of 0 to 20 some features are available between the range of minus 5 to 10 during the analysis uh, of uh, different phase you will come to know about it but you can't feed it like this you have to normalize the data so either you can define any range or uh, there is a very standard range machine learning people will use they convert all data between range of 0 to 1 so they just normalize it so all data we can uh, feed it in sometimes it happens that uh, you are getting the bad result because you haven't uh, done this uh, steps because that sap is uh, most essential uh, because in that case what is happening that uh, the centimeter uh, numbers may be very high and meter number is uh, very low so this f1 feature gives more important than a f2 feature but e actually i mean data is not normalized that's why those kind of abnormal results come so that is a scaling part now let's see what is the decomposition part now you have analyzed data you have scaled the data uh, you got that there are some of the features are available individual uh, feature now you have suppose the date time object uh, as a feature to the individual uh, record in your data set but that date time object contains uh, total date uh, plus month plus year or individual time hour minute and second also but combinedly all those uh, quantity you just cannot uh, supply as a feature to the system so based on your problem requirement you may consider to break it down ins inside the date and the time like uh, hours as a time and a date means the the date of the particular month so in this way you can do the feature decomposition and you can supply 
टू फीचर इंस्टेड ऑफ वन फीचर टू योर मशीन लर्निंग एल्गोरिदम नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज द एग्रीगेशन सो हाउ यू कैन एग्रीगेट द डेटा समटाइम्स यू वॉट हैपन डेट बेस्ड ऑन योर रिक्वायरमेंट सपोज यू हैव बीन गिवन अ वन फीचर और कपल ऑफ फीचर दैट फीचर डायरेक्टली डजेंट मेक सेंस और इंडिविजुअली दैट मे फीचर मेक सेंस बट यू कैन प्रोड्यूस अनदर फीचर बेस्ड ऑन दोज फीचर ऑल्सो सो लेट्स टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हाउस प्राइस प्रडिक्शन वॉट वी हैव सीन इन अर्लियर एग्जाम्पल सो सपोज इन हाउस प्राइस प्रडिक्शन वी हैव बीन गिवन द हाउस वेथ एंड हाइट एज अ फीचर ऑफ इंडिविजुअल हाउस वाइल डिसाइडिंग द द प्राइज ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल हाउस बट यू कैन थिंक दैट यू कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस विथ एंड हाइट एंड यू कैन जनरेट द एरिया एज अ थर्ड फीचर ऑल्सो सो यू हैव ऑलरेडी टू फीचर एफ वन एंड एफ टू लाइक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ विथ एंड हाइट बट विद द हेल्प ऑफ कम कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू फीचर विथ एंड हाइट यू कैन जनरेट द थर्ड फीचर लाइक एरिया ऑफ दैट हाउस ऑल्सो सो इवेंचुअली यू गॉट दिस थ्री फीचर एंड दैट थ्री feature will be much more helpful for the deciding uh, factor of your house price so this way you can aggregate the different feature and you can uh, move ahead so uh, that is what all pre processing steps and how require before uh, transformation and then how you can transform the data in a lex lecture we will see about how you can actually do those kind of step inside the uh, different for the different machine learning algorithm uh, i hope you enjoy listening with you thank you guys for the watching please do like comment and subscribe it